Composite Mold presents how to duplicate a ceramic bird with Composicast clear casting plastic in Composite Mold. We start by hot gluing the ceramic piece down to the bottom of a mold box. In this case, we are using a plastic cup that we can remove afterwards. We are using hot glue so that the bird will not float up to the surface. You can also use polymer clay or double-sided tape for smaller objects. Now we are putting on a mold release around the ceramic piece so that it doesn't stick to the composite mold. This is basically a vegetable oil mold release. You can use mineral oil or any other mold release and it will work just as well. We also get the container so that it will remove from the container more effectively. After the mold release is placed onto the part, we then spray it with a little bit of bubble buster. The bubble buster reduces surface tension so that any bubbles that form won't stay on the surface of the pot. We melted the composite mold in the microwave for about one to two minutes until we had enough material melted to cover our part. You want to cover your part by about a half inch to give it enough strength to handle the resin and the casting materials that you put into it. If you melt too much, or if you use too much, that's okay because you can always remelt and reuse your composite mold. Composite mold cools to solidify. So to solidify this mold, all we need to do is leave it out and it will go back to its rubbery state. To speed up the process, we can stick it in the refrigerator or freezer and you can have a mold about this size done in about 45 minutes. After the composite mold has solidified, we now remove it from the mold box. To do this, we are going to cut down the side of it with an X-Acto knife or a sharp blade of some sort. You can also use scissors. We have selected to cut in this specific location because after we remove the mold box, we are also going to cut down the side of the composite mold to enable the bird to be taken out of the mold without affecting the part itself. So we carefully cut down the side of the mold. We are choosing to cut down the back side of the bird so that the parting line is underneath the tail and less visible. You never want to cut towards yourself. So whenever you have a chance, turn your blade so it is cutting away from you. A nice advantage of the composite mold is it is semi-transparent so you can see where you're cutting in relationship to the part that's inside. To make sure that you don't damage the original masterpiece, don't cut right up to the side of the masterpiece. Leave approximately a millimeter or so, and then when you pull the mold apart, you can pull it apart and you won't create any damage to that piece. Because our original piece was very smooth and shiny, our mold will also become smooth and shiny. That's extremely important if you want to make a clear piece with composite cast or any resin. If your original piece is not smooth, you will not be able to get a clear piece afterwards. Now we put a piece of tape on it just to keep the parting line together as tight as possible. You can also use a couple rubber bands to do the same thing. Composite cast clear casting plastic is designed to work very well in composite mold molds. Mix the two parts together by equal volume or equal weight. To be sure that you don't add bubbles into the mixture, mix it very slowly together for one to three minutes. A nice plus to the composite cast resin is that you have approximately 45 minutes to work with it. So you have plenty of time to mix and pour. To pour, pour it into your material into the bottom of the mold and let it fill up to the top of it. If you pour in a very small line, you will have less of a chance of bubbles being able to stay in the resin as you pour it into the mold. The composite cast resin will be ready to be removed in approximately 10 to 14 hours. 
typically we suggest leaving it overnight just to be sure everything is hard and the mold is ready to go. Carefully peel the composite mold away from your composite cast, clear cast and plastic part. As you pull the composite cast out of the mold, you can admire it and see the nice clear finish of the casting. You can now remelt the composite mold to make a new mold or reuse that mold to make more clear casting plastic birds. Thank you very much for watching our video on how to make a clear casting plastic bird with composite mold and composite cast. If you have any questions, please email us at info at compositemold.com. You can also leave a message down below, subscribe to our channel, and please let us know what you make. Thank you very much.